about two years ago, I picked up a sling box to relay video signals from our cable box in one home to our TV using a Chromecast in another home. I had mixed results with it. I didn't like the menu access via the Chromecast. Having to go through the phone made it awkward. Uh, turning it off when you were done if you were half asleep uh, was awkward. Uh, and it seemed I'd get a lot of buffering, a lot of delays, loss of signals, having to restart. It was not the most dependable of ways to do things. About uh, a month ago, I, re I realized, noticed, whichever, that on uh, Amazon Fire Stick, they now had a uh, Sling Player app to allow access to the uh, sling box which hopefully I felt would make the streaming process simpler because it's eliminating the phone or the tablet from the situation and going direct to the streaming route and I tried it in my home I was very happy with it uh, we have the app here don't know why they picked one that looks like teeth but they did uh, and we, um, I, I gave it a try. I was very happy with it in my house. Now that we're in our vacation place, I wanted to give it a try, and it looks like it gives a more dependable signal than the Chromecast. I haven't had any buffering issues yet. The menu uh, is easier to access, uh, especially playing around with the guide, and you know you can access it either with the voice commands on the remote control or the push button so we can access it it loads it up it's very simple and here we go the box is not on yet to turn it on we go here miscellaneous on the top menu come down to the bottom power on we can turn it on give it a second and Turn the volume down here. Okay. The uh, menu structure is easy to work with. Uh, it tends to come up with this video quality. You can use it uh, uh, or ignore it. We'll ignore it for this. And if you want to pick channels directly, you can. Very simple, pick your numbers, hit enter, and there you go. Takes a second or two, and then you have your new channel. Okay, you can bring up the menu again. So there we have the channel selection. Miscellaneous, you can go back to the last channel. You can single channel up or down, change inputs, set up. Okay, got things to play with there. Over here, you can set up your DVR. You can go to your guide. Okay, brings up the guide. I find it's easier to work with uh, by using the remote control that comes with a fire stick. Although, I have not yet figured out how to change by putting in numbers here yet. You can change your quality, your zoom, and you can disconnect. You have your DVR controls, which I don't have a DVR on this, so I'm not playing, I can't play with them, and I'm not going to. Uh, and your record controls. So basically, I'm just using the uh, channel functions and the guide functions. And let's get out of that. Let's go to the last channel again. Okay, as we switch back, the quality seems better than through the Chromecast. It seemed I had to play it uh, 
lower resolution via the Chromecast. This seems to work uh, well with a better quality. It's not, I wouldn't quite call it high def, but it's certainly watchable, especially if you're being cheap like me and you don't want a cable box uh, on every TV. Uh, you know, like I said, the cable box is 900 miles away. It's responding very nicely. There are a couple seconds delay between uh, you know, pressing your uh, functions and getting the results. But, you know, for a backup, it's a cheap app. Obviously, it's, excuse me, it's a free app, which is better than cheap. And it gives better functionality than I felt the Chromecast gave. Uh, the results are good, it's watchable, and it certainly makes it uh, easier to use at a remote location as this. The signal so far has been dependable. I haven't had the buffering that I had uh, previously with the Chromecast, and it's just been a dependable, watchable signal. So there you go. I wanted to keep this short and to the point, and I think I did. You get the idea. You know, I'm not going to go into more details. You can play with some of it yourself if you already have a sling box hooked up, you know, or a fire stick. You know most of the basics. You may just not have hooked them up together or realize that the app was there. It surprised me. I was happy to find it. Thrilled when it seemed to work so well. And uh, I wish you luck. Hope it works for you if you use it and enjoy. And we'll go back to the main menu. By doing this, by the way, the cable box is still on. All I did was go back to the menu. I'd have to go back into the app in order to turn off the cable box, which I will do afterwards. Okay.